Trekking in the Himalayas generally means in the uh, mountains, but not to the peaks. Yo! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> exactly! Here's Harold! Awesome! So I, I was on my way doing like a little a little loop and then gonna meet you there, but let's well, let's now, go ahead. Now I'm here. So. Yeah. Where, where are Perfect. you going so far? Uh, so far, just in Kathmandu. This is Kathmandu on a sunny day in December, December 17th. And I'm going to walk into the center of the city and show a lot of amazing stuff along the way. Kathmandu is definitely one of my favorite cities of Asia. Really fascinating, a lot going on. It is pretty, uh, packed and busy but you'll see as we get into the uh, smaller side streets then it gets a little more sort of quaint I can't really say mellow because uh, it's gonna be really busy in there as well and so I wanted to make this video a uh, two for two for one you'll get some practical information about uh, traveling in Nepal and trekking in the Himalayas as well as see the streets of Kathmandu here. I just got my trekking permits. Let's get across the street here. And I'll cover information about uh, that in a minute. Here you can see one of your options for uh, getting around the uh, city or the uh, country. These little minivan bus things. There was a bus station down here to the right with regular sized buses. And then uh, there's these uh, vans you can see and the little buses. So I just arrived three days ago. Coming from Goa, India. This is my fourth time to Nepal. I've done four treks so far. Three separate trekking routes, but four treks because I did the Annapurna Base Camp trek twice. And I'm going to be uh, doing another trek taking off either tomorrow or the next day. Little uh, shrine here. Let's get over the overpass and then I'll get back in there and get into the uh, smaller streets of the city center. And so I realize this is going to be a distracted video of me navigating and uh, all the noise and the motorcycles and music and lots of stuff going on. And so it's not really the best situation for a informative video it would be better to record it in my room as far as understanding me and everything but this way it's more interesting and you get to see uh, Kathmandu in the process so uh, let's get down here and then I'll get on to the uh, information so the first thing is visa info and there's really good news in that regard which is that depending on your country of course but as a american citizen from the united states and many other countries you do not need to get a visa in advance to visit nepal you don't need to mail your passport somewhere and wait for it to come back. 
you just get your visa on arrival in uh, the airport when you land. It's a pretty uh, simple process actually. I didn't even need any uh, photos. So uh, you might want to bring some just in case. You'll need little pictures for other things like for getting your trekking permits. It's always good as a traveler to have some uh, little, uh, you know, passport size photos with you just in case. But I didn't need any for getting the uh, visa. And so there's three different visa options. The 15 day visa, which I believe is $30. The 30 day visa, which I got, that was $50 US. And the 90 day visa, which I believe is a hundred bucks. And they accepted various currencies. I had 50 euros, a 50 euro note. And they accepted that and gave me $3 US change. And then boom, you're in and you can enjoy Nepal. So just need a valid passport as always, then you should have six months validity on your passport for uh, entering most countries. And so next prices. So Nepal is very affordable. That's the uh, main thing you need to know is that it is almost as cheap as India, basically. I have a very nice hotel room, not fancy or anything, but uh, a nice little clean, quiet room for $15 a night with attached bathroom. You can find it cheaper. Food is uh, very cheap depending. So I'm going to uh, try to get to the Tamil area in this uh, video and show various uh, parts of Kathmandu along the way. But Tamil is the main backpackers, travelers area with lots of guest houses and restaurants and trekking offices where you can buy all your gear. There are so many of these little shrines all throughout Kathmandu. It's really cool. It's so a uh, kind of crazy market or square with various uh, sellers of all kinds of stuff. You are here. Asan. I guess it is Asan uh, Square. And it says to Tamil. And so like in Tamil, then you can uh, spend a fair amount at restaurants. There are spendier restaurants. But even if you get a little crazy and get, you know, a big meal and a couple drinks, whatever, then maybe you'd spend 20, $25. But you can eat so much cheaper than that. I had a uh, dal bot, it is called. Dal is the uh, classic lentil dish and dal bot is the complete meal that includes dal and another curry and rice and papadam and maybe uh, like a salad and some yogurt and I had that at a restaurant right in Tamil and it was 200 and 240 Nepali rupees. The current exchange rate for the US dollar to the rupee is 110 Nepali rupees to one US dollar. And so 240 Nepali rupees is about $2.25 for a full complete meal. Okay, so uh, I want to end up going the uh, particular direction and it might have been the other way over there, but I'll keep on going this way. Now, the uh, cost of the trekking permits 
So you have to get two different uh, permits. One is a entry for the uh, area that you're going tr trekking in. And the other one is called a TIMS card. It's like Trekkers Information Management System. And the... The permit for entering the uh, National Park was 3,000 Nepali rupees. And the permit for the Tim's card was 2,000 Nepali rupees. And so that is 5,000 and that is less than $50. That is like 45 bucks. So really uh, not bad. As far as what to see in Nepal, Kathmandu is, as you can see, a really fascinating city. But there is much more to see even than just wandering around here. There are all kinds of things to visit in the area. The monkey temple, various stupas, Buddhist stupas. Nepal is a mix of Hindu and Buddhist. In a previous video, then I uh, learned about the goddess Kumari and looked it up uh, later. And the Kumari goddess is the only goddess that is worshipped by both Hindus and Buddhists. And so Nepal is a mix of Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam and various other uh, religions, but uh, it is majority Hindu. And there's also a significant amount of Buddhists here. So there are Hindu temples and shrines and Buddhist temples and shrines, stupas and whatnot. And so there's tons to see in the area around here. The uh, Bhaktapur ancient city is really fascinating. I think you could do hikes from around here and get some views of the Himalayas. I haven't done that myself. At the beginning of the video here, then you might have noticed some hills around uh, the city. Kathmandu is not really in the Himalayas. It's more kind of on the edge of them. Nepal is kind of half in the Himalayas and the uh, southern half is more like plains and not as interesting. Wow, okay, we gotta take a look at this. This here. So this is a stupa. Hello, good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm great. How you doing? I actually want to get uh, some t-shirts. I'm going to look at the stupa first. And then, okay. okay. So a stupa is a Buddhist symbol of enlightenment. And they have a specific configuration of the uh, number of different levels to the stupa. And they represent the various stages on the path to enlightenment.
So there is Ganesha, so Hindu. All right, so I am uh, here in the uh, shop and just bought three t-shirts oh. for uh, 2,000 Nepali rupees. That's like uh, $18 or so, so great yeah, price yeah. for three. Yeah, yeah. for and He has amazing uh, yeah. variety of yes. authentic... 2020, a dragon also have and uh, Om Mani Padme Om Buddha eyes. Yep, the Buddha it, eyes. It's a good luck. It's a Buddha eye, good luck. And yeah. Om Mani Mandala, this one also is a prayer flag. It's a good uh, t-shirt. Yep, and top of the world, top Everest world Nepal. Nepal. And baby Buddha. Baby Buddha and Golden Buddha, Dev Buddha, and uh, Shambhunath, and Monk. And yak, 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 yak. I'm looking forward to seeing some yaks in the yeah. Himalayas. Traffic jam here, Nepal style. These guys are all on the trail. I'm hoping they don't uh, get aggressive at all or get kicked in the head by this horse. My name is uh, Arif. Arif. Arif, Arif. A R I F. Arif. I see. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. And name again of the uh, stupa? Pati Shambhu is stupa. Yeah, so Shibu if you want to uh, find this shop, yeah. then uh, it's the stupa right there. And here you go. Because business is down, you were saying. Yeah. It's business yeah. is not good now. Not good. Before, one month before, was it better? One month is a little bit better. A little bit better. But for our numbers, business will be go down, down, down. Yeah. It's a day one piece t shirt, I will be sold for the 20 oh. hours. Ah, for the, the whole day. Hours. Yeah, this before is. Before it started, two piece. Yeah. Yeah. This four isn't five, enough. Yeah, it's you, not good. You can't live on this. Yeah, yeah. Because you have so many t shirts, they're yeah. just waiting. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, Tamil is right there, to the right. However, I want to show a little bit more, and so I'm going to uh, do a loop that I did before and uh, get back to Tamil going this way. So let's see, where was I? I think the uh, next and kind of the uh, last important uh, thing I wanted to talk about is the trekking in the Himalayas. One of the absolute all-time amazing experiences, as you can imagine. So there are four main trekking routes in Nepal that are kind of easily set up for tourists. There's much more than that, but the uh, four main trekking routes, you can see the uh, hills up there, are the Everest Base Camp Trek, of course. Important to uh, understand that that does not mean climbing to the peak of Everest. That is going to the base camp, which is the real base camp that uh, climbers would go to on the way to, you know, climbing to the peak of Everest. But, uh, when you're talking about just trekking as a tourist or whatever, then you're just going to the base camp or trekking around in the Himalayas in lower elevations than doing the peaks, which of course require a whole lot of experience and also cost a lot of money. So trekking in the Himalayas generally means in the uh, mountains, but not to the peaks. Yo. Here we go. <laughs> exactly. Here's Harold. Awesome. So I, I was on my way doing like a little, a little loop, and then gonna meet you there. But let's well, let's now, go ahead. Now I'm here. So. Yeah. Where, where are Perfect. you going so far? Uh, so far, just in Kathmandu. I did a little stroll in this neighborhood myself earlier today, looking for things to film. Yeah. And it's just ridiculous. You know, if you later after we've had a coffee, are you coming for food? Or? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm starving. So let's I do recommend it. you do this treat afterwards because in there they have a rickshaw repair a little garage Not or that street but here okay yeah i've never been back in here before and then you come next to a laundry they're like taking over soccer fields and they're yeah i saw the uh, laundry right there too yeah i came this way because my hotel is back up that way as well and i, I just got my trekking permits and so i to go trekking. yes that's actually what this video is about is well like 
travel information for Nepal in general, but I was just talking about the uh, trekking. What is this? Uh, it's Nepal name Pedalo, like a uh, potato. Like a potato? Yeah. I love potatoes. It looks a lot like ginger, but uh, it's different, but it's so, a vegetable. So yeah. how do you eat this? While after, uh, I have to go home and cook it. In hot, you eat hot it water. Like this? Yeah. Ga garam pani. Garam, garam pani. Yeah. yeah. You know Nepal? That means hot water. Uh, toda, toda Hindi. Hindi, yeah. yeah. It's like a potato. Cook it like a potato. We can't eat potatoes like this. Let's Answer have some peanuts. Uh, uh, what, yeah, one bag, please. How much? One pot. Sixty rupees. Local price. Sixty. 60. Yeah. Local I'm price. to say that I only roll with the large notes. Do you have sixty, <laughs> and then I'll get I, to dinner I, I or something. I got some small stuff. Yeah. Here we got some big notes, some little notes. One thousand. That's about 10 bucks. 100, that's about a dollar. And I might have exact change, 50. Wow, oh, look at this guy. You wow. are a true high roller. No doubt. Is that all from today? Sorry? Is that all your earnings today? One day you make all this from peanuts? Uh, no. Yes, Charlie. That's not peanuts right there, huh? No, no, that's some serious cash. You're doing well. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Thank you very Here, much. I'll give you, give you back your camera. All righty. So, some of you might recognize this guy, yeah, yeah. Kumar from uh, Harold's uh, videos. Harold and I just uh, had uh, lunch and he is taking a uh, flight in just a couple of hours and Kumar is taking him to the uh, airport. Yeah. airport. And so Kumar has been in some of Harold's uh, videos and you've gone on some, some uh, fun adventures around uh, Kathmandu. Yeah, yeah. What's the cable car, what's this called, the, the cable this car? This one is uh, then Chandragiri, it's Kathmandu, then 12 kilometer. Ah, it's nearby, only 12 Kathmandu kilometers. Then 12 kilometers far is Chandragiri cable car, sir. Okay. Yeah. And what's the, the city you went to a hotel? Dulikil Hotel, sir. Dulikil? Yeah. Okay. Dulikil Hotel. And how far, how far is Dulikil that? Dulikil is here then 35 kilometers far then, sir. Okay. Also, also not too far. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's the next day. Wanted to give a quick little tour of my $15 hotel room. This right here is the sleeping bag that I'm going to be taking on the trek with me. There's my backpack. The electricity is off right now, so can't really see in the uh, bathroom, but attached bathroom. And now going to uh, head back outside and go show some more of Kathmandu, including the uh, Tamil area. I have some shopping to do in order to get ready for the trek. I'm heading out tomorrow morning. Harold Balder's hotel, where I was uh, hanging out with uh, him and Kumar, is right down there. This uh, street there. And the funny thing is that my hotel was two buildings over from his. And that was totally unplanned. My coming to Nepal had nothing to do with Harold being here. I think I'd actually booked my flight before I even knew that he was here. And so that was just total coincidence. And then. I emailed him the day before yesterday and he said that he was flying out yesterday and we could meet up for lunch or something. And so I was on the way to meet him at a restaurant when I ran into him there just coincidentally. So that was just kind of a uh, funny chance meeting. And so one of the things that I have to do today is replace these shoes. I bought them in Tbilisi, Georgia, and they kind of make my feet hurt, and that is the uh, last thing that you want on a trek in the Himalayas is bad footwear, so. The sleeping bag there, I had washed right here on the uh, right, Sagoon dry cleaner laundry, and so I bought the sleeping bag, but it was used, it was 4,000 rupees, and the guy said that he would buy it back for 2,000. So I'll only pay 2,000 rupees and that is only like 18 bucks for the use of the sleeping bag. Also, you can rent them per day some places and that might be cheaper depending on how long you uh, 
That guy had a uh, GoPro on his helmet. Depending on how long you're uh, trekking for, the trek I'm doing will be about a week. And maybe I'll uh, do another trek as well. I'm not sure yet. So uh, this is the way walking into Tamil. You can see uh, some nice restaurants, eco, cafe and eatery. Himalayan, Arabica, beans, coffee shop. So things are getting kind of a little bit fancier. And so yesterday when I ran into Harold, then I was in the middle of uh, talking about the uh, trekking in the Himalayas and trying to give some info about that. And so I was saying that there are four main treks in the Himalayas. There's much more than that, but the uh, main ones are the Everest Base Camp Trek, the Annapurna Base Camp Trek, the Annapurna Circuit Trek, which is in the same area as the Base Camp, but a different trek. It takes longer, about uh, three weeks. And the Langtang Trek. And all of those you can do without a guide or a porter. And so you can see we're getting to a up-to-date trekking shop and I need to uh, stop into some of these and buy stuff and so all of those treks have lodges along the way where you sleep and they make your food for you so you don't need to take a tent you're not wilderness camping you're staying in lodges hiking up a trail I have a map of the trekking route And so you don't need a guide, you don't need a porter, a guide to carry your stuff for you, but you can have a guide and or a porter if you want. And that is appreciated, it helps the uh, economy, gives somebody a job, but I just prefer to uh, trek on my own. I am an experienced wilderness backpacker. I've done tons of wilderness backpacking you know, with a tent, nobody else out there by myself, stuff like that. So it depends on your experience level, for one thing. If you have not uh, done much hiking or backpacking before, you might want someone with you to uh, make sure you don't get lost or whatever. All right, so we're kind of deep into the uh, trekkers, travelers area of Tamil here. Money exchange place. I need to find an ATM. Here we have an ATM. I'll uh, come back here in a minute. Just want to show a little more of Tamil here. And there is much more to say about uh, getting ready for trekking in the Himalayas. And I made some other videos about it. the last time that I was in Nepal in 2016, so, hello. That would be a whole long video explaining a lot of different things, and so what I'm gonna do is put a link down below to the videos that I made before with uh, tons more information on trekking in the Himalayas, how to get prepared, gear, how it works, how much it costs. I have a whole playlist of videos that are about tips for trekking in Nepal. So look down below for that. Check this out. A little bit of a hazard. Hopefully they're not live wires. Apparently not, I just touched one. Ah. Holy moly. So uh, this was going on on another street a couple of days ago as well. So there's some sort of a replacing of the electrical wires, which is, I'm sure, badly needed.
Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Fine, how are you? Where are you from? United States. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alright, this guy is trying to talk to me and, excuse me, that means that he wants something. Obviously not always the case, sometimes people just want to talk. I've had some good conversations with people just walking down the street, but uh, I could tell that guy was trying to hustle me. All right, so uh, I'm going to uh, finish this video here. Look for the link down below, and tomorrow, heading for the Himalaya. So excited for it. It's gonna be an early morning uh, bus ride, a day, out to where the uh, trek starts, and then get up into the mountains. All right, see ya. All right, so uh, we're here in Or2K restaurant. I'm here with Jesse St. Louis, and he has a uh, YouTube channel as well, and uh, really good stuff, and it turned out that uh, he was here at the same time. He's just done epic trekking in uh, eastern Nepal. Do you want to like mention that sure. that trek? Kenshin Jenga, and, uh, and then we just got back from uh, Bardia National Park. We did some walking tiger safari, walking among the wild tigers and rhinos. That was quite a trip. And you've been in Nepal for two months. We've been in Nepal nearly two months, so we've had a, a wide variety of experiences. The Count and Jenga Chef trek was three weeks. I've been on four 17-hour Nepali bus rides. That in itself is worth the price of the visa, I think. Right on. Ready to hit the beach in Thailand, though. Yeah. And so this is the start of a one-year traveling trip, the first couple of months. And right. so check his channel out. Link down below. Okay. Uh, there's going to be lots lots more coming. Plenty more coming. Yeah. yeah. For sure. This guy's the man. <laughs> is one of the inspirations for me to start my channel. So if you like his stuff, I hope you like my stuff. Right on. And uh, we got some great looking uh, food here. So this is like a mixed veg curry and some rice, chapati. And uh, I got a uh, like brunch, omelet, potatoes, beet, carrot juice. All right, that's it uh, tomorrow heading for the Himalayas. See ya.